I'm gonna show you guys my foundation that I use that is like the most natural for me. Um, I need to buy more primers. That's what I realized. I don't use primers a lot. I got like five minutes. <laughs> this hourglass foundation is like my exact match. I don't have nothing to blend it with. Okay, so we gonna blend it out. As y'all can see, like I said, my exact match in a super skin like like I wore this yesterday and it just looked like skin so I could wear this and just look like I have the best skin ever although you should make sure that you are taking care of your skin that helps your makeup look 10 times better I do take care of my skin but Genetics play a huge part in good skin as well. So this is been my favorite thing to contour with. Love it, love it, love it. I actually need all this deep bronze. Um, I'm bring it up here. Yeah. yeah. So it blends in like really, really well. It's almost like a. It feels really hydrating. Yeah, it just gives you like a natural um, bronze, nothing too crazy. I actually use it to contour though. Like for me, this seems more like a contour shade over a bronzer. That's what I use it for. I'm trying to get ready kind of fast because I know today is about to be a really busy work day i looked at my schedule yesterday i got a lot of people on my books for today so i'm gonna use this Too faced i love this concealer this is the shade caramel um so i found this suction cup to use for my videos in the bathroom and usually like when I'm getting ready for work I get ready in the bathroom so this is like perfect I love this shade oh my god this is like the perfect shade for me yay so let your beauty blender wet it let let that sit for a minute but you definitely want to wet it in the meantime since I wax and tended my brows I don't really go in and do too much to my brows except for put a brow gel on. And this is the brow gel that I have been using and I love it. I work for Benefit Cosmetics. They have a really good brow gel too, but Anastasia, it's something about this brow gel that just got me in the chokehold right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like it just does it for me. So let's blend out this concealer a little bit. So you can blend out your concealer with a brush or a sponge. Lately, I've been leaning more towards like sponge. Um, I don't know, blending it out with a sponge to me right now is just seeming like it is a lot better or something like the the blend just looks better. Um, it's easier. You can also use a brush to blend it out and then go in with a sponge to pick up like any excess product. Not this becoming like a real, real tutorial and I only got a few minutes. I honestly don't know why I be going in. <laughs> with uh so much concealer on my chin because the more you highlight the chin the more like wider it appears so if you got like a big chin don't do that my chin is not big necessarily but it definitely don't need to be highlighted i definitely don't need to make it any wider 
wider. So I'm gonna go in with my brush and, um, you know, make sure all of that looking good. Today I'm running behind because I like I did get up and do like my workout and everything, but I just feel like um, I was a little more tired today, so it was kind of a fight to get up, but I did it, so I am proud of myself for getting up and actually working out, though. Like, you did that, sis. Because I ain't gonna lie, I be acting crazy. So using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, I'm gonna go in and just set all of the areas. And as you can see, like, because I use that sponge to blend, it just really helps this powder to set on top of the concealer really well. Um, this is one of my staples, like this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Anytime you wanna figure out how people get like that really smooth, um, powdered look more than likely they've used a pressed powder and Sephora just hits for me every time I'm gonna go in and use my other powder and this is more of like similar to my skin complexion and I'm gonna use that to set all the other areas of my face It's definitely about to set, so you gotta make sure that you set it everywhere to get a more unified look. Okay. Boo. Okay. So, I'm like a minimalist. I could use one brush for everything, literally. Actually, I'm gonna use this sponge to bronze with to powder bronze. And as you can see, that bronzer just brings warmth to my face. So a lot of people like to like bronze before and after with like a powder. Um, and I am a part of that community. <laughs> so this is what we're doing. Look, I told y'all I'm a minimalist. So I'm about to use this sponge and also apply my blush, which is NARS Orgasm X, and yeah, I like to add a little blush to the nose. It does some, it just make like the button nose like even cute. Tur. Um, and then I'm gonna go in on the lips. This is my NYX liner in the shade Rebel Kind. It needs to be sharpened. But anywho, Max Lip Gloss, y'all know, like, if you don't know, Beauty Supply beauty supply and then I take my NARS Turkish Delight lip gloss and got M on top of that so cute so with this like I notice my lips look different every time so but that's that's it though that's what I be doing And I love a thick, a even thicker gloss to go on top. And there you have it. That's my makeup look. I do need, uh, I do use mascara, which I'm gonna put on when I go to work because if if I stay here any longer, I'm gonna be super late. And that's not ideal for me. So I hope y'all enjoyed.